She's having a little bit of a rough day right now. My body right now just feels like a lot, honestly, but I'm gonna push through. <laughs> I knew I would get mixed responses. Oh, good morning, my loves, and welcome back to another vlog. I am having a little bit of a tough morning because I made a mistake um, that I am feeling terrible about, and I wasn't going to hop on the camera and, like, share this. I was going to, like, shake it off and, like, just go on with my day, but I'm really trying to be super transparent of, like, actually a day in my life I feel like that's what I'm loving to see is just like the true humanness of people um in their day to day so this morning I woke up truly feeling amazing so happy and um just excited for the day and I got a text this morning and I made a mistake like it truly is my fault and I just really um like disappointed a friend and disrespected without even of course ever trying to and the guilt that is like swarming my body I could literally cry about it because I just feel like that is the last thing I would ever want to do to someone is not respect them and not always show them that I love them and again we are human so we make mistakes and I know this friend is so forgiving and so loving and knows that within me but I just it like can take over my body that I did that to someone so honestly I'm having to like move through the emotions right now like I'm gonna go into work I'm writing a workout right now that I'm gonna be teaching and I feel like this is just the reality of life of like just things happen in our days and we have to really first off be adults and like go to work or go to school and or go do that thing and um you just like never know what people are going through and like literally right now I could break down in tears and so I think it's really important for me to vocalize just um just like moving through emotions and how to honor them so I have felt really deeply that I need to like sit first off and send this person love so I've been sitting and I've been literally picturing them and their like highest self and my highest self and like sending them so much love and asking for their forgiveness um because again we are flipping human y'all like and I think that's something within me, like, I'm not always going to be perfect. None of us are. And, um, so then for myself, after I send them love, I'm now picturing, like, letting these emotions, oh, there's a giant truck that's blocking me right now and it's making me feel claustrophobic. I am like, my body right now just feels like a lot, honestly, but I'm going to push through. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna know that everything's gonna be okay, allow these emotions move through my body, be kind to myself, be aware, like, hey, you did make a mistake, and then you have to let it go. Like, I can't sit and dwell in this. Um, I know that this person would not want me to sit and dwell in this either, and so I think the best thing that I can do is just, like, give myself love now and let it move through me. All right, time to move on. I know this friend knows I love them so deeply, so, 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 so deeply. And um, I made a mistake, so I gotta move forward. I gotta move forward, I've done all I can. My loves, that was not my planned intro to this vlog, but hello. <laughs> 
I'm now gonna take the time to finish writing my workout. I'm teaching two workouts today. I'm teaching one from the um, new program that we're having um, starting July 31st, which I have a little code for you guys. If you've been wanting to join, this would be a perfect program to jump into, which is like a mid-year check-in of like, let's continue reaching our goals. The year is not done yet. And it's two weeks and it's strictly Pilates, all levels, minimal equipment. And so I'm finishing that today. I'm filming one of those workouts and then I am filming one new workout for form because we have a new workout that releases every single week. I fluctuate with filming two workouts in a day. I usually only film one a day, but right now since I'm traveling to Europe in a month, a little over a month, I'm having to batch a little bit. So I'm definitely gonna need to fuel my body big time today and take care of her um, because we got some good workouts happening today. All right, my loves, let's get this vlog going. She's having a little bit of a rough day right now. Oh, they She's know. had some personal problems. We think she just cried in the car, but we're gonna get through it now. They know I did just cry in the car, and they probably oh. could cry. No. It's a beautiful day. Oh, it's it's a so day. beautiful. It's a beautiful day. Like my highest yeah. self is like release. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The one on Earth right now is like. I think you just might need some sauce. Oh my gosh, I've had so much coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I really are done. Feather stiff as a See, this is the problem with girls, is every time you touch their hand, their hands are freezing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> salad and then I'm having a meal prepped chicken with like some salad as well and tomatoes corn okay cool so yeah like let's ask them let's ask them their opinion of it being white and like just because they do this so much what their opinion of if we did ours in white for the band and on the mat so what we're discussing is very top secret, but I always say you guys hear it here first because it's impossible to vlog and keep everything so vague or else the entire day would actually be canceled. And I feel like Shelves always tell me like, Sam, just share because I'm always like, I'll tell you guys later. And then I never get to because it's always like a continuous tease. So now I'm just like, I'm sharing the goods. If you're here, you're getting the inside scoop. Um, but we are doing a Bala collab. So if you guys see, I wear Bala ankle weights. I use the Bala dumbbells for all of my Pilates workouts. They're truly the best. What I love most about them is their aesthetic. Like to be honest, ankle weights are so not cute, but they are so essential to elevate a workout. So I love that you could literally wear them walking around on the street or take them on vacation. Like you could forget you have them on because they're so cute. Um, and really good quality. So I'm so excited to do a collab with them. They're a brand that I would die to work with. So I'll show you guys 
maybe I'll hold off on the color, okay? I'm not gonna really expose everything, but we're deciding right now on just kind of the look of them all. All right, what else we got? Wait, what, did, what is mom saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe saying like uh, July 31st meal plan program is here. I love this one. Then say, um, get strong in your body. So we're about to go through all of this gifting that I've just had sitting in here for a very long time. Shelby's here to help me because as you guys know, I'm really bad at one, staying organized, but I love it. And two, when I start to clean like out a dresser or something, I get really intimidated. So shelves to the rescue, but we're gonna go through it. And we thought it'd be a really cute idea to go through all the gifting and do a giveaway at the end. Okay, so how to enter the giveaway. I'll have you guys comment in the comment section, something that you wanna see more of from me. And then I will do a little random picking and send you guys the giveaway. I'll show you the giveaway at the end once we go through the gifting. glimpse into the giveaway there's still even more goodies in here just not gonna lay them all out but here are some of my favorites so favorite like some tanning stuff some are Friday's goodies some makeup the five-minute journal Kosas cute little bag um, just like tons of different Charlotte Tilbury stuff um, so comment below and you can win the whole bag of goodies and yeah all right, I am off to go to Erwan on a little dinner date with Liz. Um, we're doing a little friends date tonight, maybe walk by the beach and just catch up. And this is my little fit. I have dirty hair, so put her in a little hat. My sneaks. Um, honestly, my inspo is Paige Lorenz. I think she's so cute, and I liked her wearing her hat with her earrings the other day. So, inspo. Let's go to Erwan, y'all. The hall. They love a haul. Sure they would. We just went to Air One and we got some treats that we're gonna do a little haul for you guys. Well, on Lissy's TikTok or Instagram. Well, we can film it on this too. And I'll just leave the camera rolling so you guys can see it there on here too. We, go. we got lots of goodies. And we'll just be like this. I also realize that it's summer. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you are. I'm not sure why she's dressed for winter, <laughs> but her neck. We got an Air One haul Woo. together. Okay, we got some good stuff. All different realms. First, mm -hmm. Mariana Hewitt strawberry lemonade. lemonade crush. I've honestly, Samantha from APL said that like she crushes these daily. And really? She's obsessed. Yeah. I feel like they always have to have the coconut cream on yeah. top. Like you can't. You might not need to like stir. Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna hold off my reaction until you take a sip, too. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't react. <laughs> oh my god. I just got <gasps> all over me. Holy shit, that's so good. I freaking mm. love that. Oh my god, that tastes so like a childhood drink or something. Oh my god. That's... But how much sugar do you think is in this thing? Mm. This is too good. No, I feel like it's probably like stevia or something. You think? It's tart, it's creamy, it's sour, it's sweet. The best summer drink, actually. Should we start with these? Ah, yeah, never tried them. 12 Tides Kelp Chips. Mm. I love these, but this is a new flavor. What flavor? Vegan cheddar. Okay, I love them, but you know how we have different we tastes. We do have different tastes. Yeah, go on, not, go. They look a little cray to me. <laughs> I love it. A little bland. Yeah, they're so bland. Uh -huh. I love it. They're made from kelp. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next thing Samantha will love. Give it to me. This is the Korean fried broccoli. Wow. That smells so good. Get a whiff, get a stem. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love I it. I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, next, 
One of my favorite brands, Meet the Source. And this is her strawberries and cream raw cake. Mm. Are you a strawberry girl? Not usually, but then the Hailey Bieber smoothie at Air yeah. One, like turned me, and I mean, that's strawberry. Yeah. But not usually, I'm more of like a cinnamon, vanilla, chocolate. Same, so I'm kind of excited to try this though. Oh, I'm like impression that. That kind of tastes like Hailey Bieber mm -hmm. smoothie. It really does. Wow, it's really light. Really light. For how, like, I usually don't like frosting, me but neither. it's tasting like really light, even though it's so creamy. And then this, okay, I've tried this, I have to admit, but Sam hasn't tried this. These cookies are insane. They're the delicious cookies, and this is the vegan gluten-free chocolate decadence. Decadence. Decadence, and it's so decadent. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Okay, yeah, that's so good. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh crap. I know. Wow. How insane is that? Wait, what is this? I don't even know what it reminds me of, but it reminds me of something. Wow. Well, that's our haul. What would we say is the best thing? I can tell you the least. <laughs> <laughs> These are not for her. I'll be taking those home. I think that last thing yeah. stole the cake for me. I would say this and this. Yeah, that was a surprise of how good that was. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Where are you taking me? <laughs> Where should I take you? We can just go on like a little beach stroll. Okay. Hi, wanna come up here? Hi, mm, give me kisses, give me kisses. Oh, thank you. Mm. All right, I just got back from Erwan and I'm waiting for JT to eat dinner, so I'm kind of needing a snack. I'm trying to be better about including more protein in my days, just because I really want to feel strong, have more muscle definition based on like how much I'm working out. So I am eating cottage cheese, and I actually have never had cottage cheese. And as you guys know, I don't do dairy, but I got lactose free and lactose is usually what bothers my stomach and literally cottage cheese has like 14 grams of protein in a half a cup so that's just like a really good source of protein. Greek yogurt is also a really good source of protein and I love weird consistencies so this is the brand Good Culture and I'm going to try it but I'm a little nervous but here I go. I like I've literally never tried cottage cheese in my life. I don't know if that's weird. I don't think you'd like this. Here we go. I don't know how I feel about this. It kind of tastes like when cheese is like left out for a while. <laughs> I guarantee I'm gonna grow to love this. Just like first bite is different than what I expected. Like it kind of smells like bad cheese. All right guys, I'm gonna continue eating it. I just love weird textures, like that's fluffy. I know you're supposed to like probably eat this with something. I'm trying to think of what you would eat it with. I'm starting to like it. Okay. Officially finishing the last day of our Power Pilates program. Super freaking excited. Honestly, I feel like this might be Pilates and strength program, and the Pilates program is probably going to be my top two programs that I've ever done. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go finish this. And as always, I'm running late. I am so bad with time sometimes because 
first off, I think I might have mentioned this in my last video, but through this whole journey that I've been in, I have just loved slowing down and just like having time to myself or even with JT that's just really present. So my mornings, I take it really slow and not even like I have a routine right now. I actually love that as well. I'm like sleeping in a little bit more. And when I say sleeping in like seven, seven thirty. but before I was waking up at like 5.30 a.m. every day, I am um, like slowly drinking my cup of coffee and having intimate conversations or just sitting outside with nature. And so I told Shelby on my team, I was like, I don't wanna start um, filming until 10 a.m. now. I used to like sometimes do it at 9 a.m. and like that would cut my entire morning. And just giving myself that time back, the fact that I'm giving myself that time has been such a gift. And I just feel like, I was just doing it to myself to start really early because I was like, oh, we gotta start really early and be efficient. And I'm like, but why Sam? Like you have the power and control to say, you don't need to start till 10 a.m. Like, let's do that. And it has been really rewarding. Um, I oddly feel like it's also like prepping me for one day when I have children to just like remember what's important and prioritize and and knowing that I own my own business and so to structure my days how I want them to be structured and truthfully for me it's like this isn't do or die like I feel like before my mind was so intense on me about like work being do or die like it would be it would be so crazy for me to like change a meeting or for me to miss something or be late and like life is just happening and my team is so incredible and I feel like it's just like this beautiful balance that I'm working on that I am just I am just like oozing it out of me and it feels so freaking good so that's my season I'm in right now and I honor each season too like I feel like I had such a grind season at one point and now I'm in a season of just like balance and loving the little things and prioritizing myself it feels really good let's have ourselves today Pressing those hips up into that glute bridge. Four, you're doing amazing. For three, three, two, right arm, left arm. Come on. Okay. Spicy. <laughs> hey, how do you feel about completing the program? So good. I'm like so happy Yay. it's done, honestly. Like, I feel like people are gonna love this one because it's really for everyone. Such a good starter for Pilates, but we'll push you. I think this will be the best one yet. Sugar plums, we are in a dress. We're feeling cute. Literally slicked my hair back because post-workout, you know how it goes. Dry shampoo <laughs> doesn't do shit for my hair. <laughs> like, Shelby's hair on the other end over here, <laughs> she could go a week without working, or she could go a week with working out really hard and put some dry shampoo and she's golden. Me, on the other hand, fine hair girlies, I look like I dove in a pool the moment I start the warm up. So, slick hair is just right for me and I just, like, thank goodness I look good in it. <laughs> <laughs> you think you look good? <laughs> I look good, right? No. It's your look. It really is, and thank yeah. goodness, though, because truly, like, hair has just never been my thing. Uh, I've always had really fine hair, so does my mom. So, anyway, slick hair is here to stay. But um, I am wearing this cute little Reformation dress. I'll show you guys when I get out. And it's making me feel like summer, which is really nice. I have a whole section on my Shop My, which is um, like a great place where I can literally link everything because it can get very busy to link everything on Instagram. So Shop My is really great. And it takes you to the site, all of that. 
but I literally have categories on there where I write like Euro summer so it's like everything I wore in Europe is in a category or all of my beauty favorites or all of my fitness favorites uh, but this dress is in there and I really liked it I almost just realized I don't even know if I like Shelves have I properly introduced you on oh, here no. I feel like Shelves is always with me and I feel like I maybe refer to her like you guys always know but Shelves is truly kind of my right hand in life but mm -hmm. in business um, she is a huge part of form handles pretty much so much marketing from our community leads to just making sure on the operational side things are running which I'm so grateful for um, but we also just do a lot of things together and she just um, helps me a lot too with like personal stuff so this is shelves everyone <laughs> Hi everyone! <laughs> um, if you guys didn't know her, I feel like I need to intro the whole team because yeah. we're together so much. Um, so I'll definitely do that one of those times where we're all um, in it together. But we are on our way to a little showroom. I'm gonna go visit um, just like a PR company that we work with a lot and has a lot of fun goodies and brands that I love working with or I love being a part of. So this is a fun little day just to go visit some familiar faces and revisit some brands. And then I'll head home and eat some lunch. And I think JT and I are gonna have a little date night tonight. The summer nights are like my favorite right now. I went to the beach as you guys saw with Liz last night and I just like, oh, summer nights are so good. The fact that you can be out when the sunset's happening and like, just be in a little dress or something in the clear skies. It's really beautiful. So I'm gonna try and do something outdoors today. And yeah, let's do it. So we just went into this building, but I want to show you guys such a full circle moment. In this building, um, when I first started ever like building a following and doing fitness stuff, this girl Cambry um, invited me to teach the ab portion to her event. And this is when I was like really small and was so nervous and it was my first ever event of like doing something in person and I taught like 30 girls um, an ab, little like 10 minute abs and it's just so crazy that we pulled up and literally it's right there. It's just, it's probably been like 10 years now. So cool. Are you gonna show me your new toy? Show your new toy. Let me see. Let me see your new toy. Do you love it? Do you love it? Yeah. So I just made a random like Mediterranean bowl. So it was ground turkey that I meal prepped. And then I have some cucumber, tomato, vegan feta. I added some hummus, olive oil for the dressing and a little bit of romaine. Oh, and a little bit of red onion. Super easy. Um, it's literally 5.45. So I'm really actually eating dinner. And this isn't something I'm proud of doing like I hate when I am going going all day and I don't have time to eat lunch so it's something I actually have been so much better at but today was really really busy so I did snack a lot but this will be my lunch and then I'll have a really late dinner one round so far feeling good my heart rate is up we're doing the full body like you guys saw I'm in my follicular that's how you say it, follicular follicular phase um, of my cycle so I am post period and 
usually in this phase you, phase you do have more energy than when in, you're in your menstrual phase you don't have as much energy to work out so this week I'm really focusing on like lifting a little bit of heavier weights um, and like challenging myself and it feels really good like in this phase post period is actually when I have so much energy I know after that and you're like luteal phase or whatever it's called you have even more but this phase is really crucial for me to like really push through my workouts because I do have a lot of energy like I feel it I feel strong because my menstrual phase I am white so like I can barely walk <laughs> is my phase so um, it's really important for me to take advantage of this phase because I feel so strong and so good also focusing on what foods support me in this phase so I'm really focusing on foods that um, are like different leafy greens um, certain grains I want to be eating certain fats that are really important for me in this time I really love understanding the different phases of your cycle I do think it serves you so deeply I was talking to my friend Haley and she said actually she saw the most results in her body physically and which connects to overall mentally and spiritually but she saw it when she started to cycle sync so if you guys want to know more info about that I'm really passionate about it right now and really focused on serving my body based on my cycle I can definitely do like a video on it or just show you guys a week of different workouts when I'm in a certain cycle but yeah right now I am in an energy phase so I'm serving it right now and then um yeah gonna get this Friday going on my way to a coffee shop lunch spot to get some like work done as well as I don't know, do some like creative stuff. I'm kind of feeling really inspired right now. So when I feel inspired, I need to act on it. So gonna go, yeah, just sit outside. It's a really beautiful day. So I'm gonna go sit outside and just feel inspired wherever I'm at. Um, I might create like a Pinterest board or something. But I also was commenting back on my last YouTube video and I was like reading a lot of the comments just kind of talking about my experience and what I'm sharing right now of what I'm going through and or what I've gone through and kind of just the journey of JT and I and I knew I would get mixed responses because I just think it's really hard to I put this on my Instagram caption which also in the comments I saw that if you haven't seen my Instagram post I'll put it here in the caption I kind of explained the rundown from JT and I planning our wedding and me starting to feel this feeling of needing to be alone and just trying to understand what myself was trying to tell me and I think it's really hard to put into words such a massive moment in my life and also process everything and be able to put it into words to you guys I do my absolute best but sometimes it is very difficult to do so and even the podcast I was recording which will be live in September I ended up doing it again and I probably will do it two more times after that because it's really important for me to reflect and to have a no judgment when I'm processing this whole experience and I invite you guys into this space because I love you and I also feel very called to share my journey to help anyone but that also comes with people not understanding and maybe having strong opinions about me making decisions that they don't agree with which is just humanness and I think it's actually really good that um, there's like mixed feelings around it because it reminds me to just stay so strong in what I believe and what I know just like I did when I when JT and I broke up uh, a lot of people did not understand because it wasn't about JT and I it was so much about myself and people were very confused by that and I think what's confusing is there's not one way for everyone so 
For example, I don't think that everyone needs to leave their partner to find themselves. <laughs> that is not what I recommend. Um, it is such your own experience. I think it's just always about your own journey and everyone has, I like to say it, their own book that they are writing and could you imagine if we were all the same it would just not make any sense so I share all of this because I want to help anyone um, of just kind of going against the norm of breaking off an engagement falling in love with myself my partner doing the exact same, him totally taking this experience as a time to go within with himself and just let me be free because he loves me and then us beautifully come back together. And to be honest, I don't care if it was 10 days, 90 days, like I took this situation so seriously that I knew it with everything in my core that I could never come back to JT if I was not 100%. And why I think I was able to come back is because I was willing to sacrifice my whole life for myself. And when myself felt that, when it said, oh, you're gonna sacrifice your best friend, your relationship, the love of your life, you're gonna sacrifice your dog. You're gonna sacrifice the house that you've built and lived in, not like actually built, but you know, built our home in, um, and sacrifice just like the life you've had for you. Like that is when myself felt like I am heard, I am loved, I am received. Like thank you for taking this so serious because I have ignored sides of me for a very long time. And that's kind of the side that is really hard to explain because I think I can't even believe how much of me I pushed down honestly in my life and I call it like the messy side of me of just feeling like I'm a burden on person on people or choosing other people before myself because I didn't want to hurt feelings or not trusting my intuition and trusting others intuition over my own and so this journey of self was so much greater than I think a breakup and it is what like people are really focusing on so yeah I think um I just kind of wanted to say that but also understand that not everyone needs to understand it is so my journey and that is okay if you do not get it um, or you have certain opinions on it like truly so that's kind of where I'm at and now I'm going to go sit at a coffee shop and dream and spend time with myself because that is insanely important for me in this whole thing is making sure I continue to have that time for me that I prioritize so deeply when I was single and by myself. So, and honestly too, y'all, I feel like maybe I would have this probably will be a podcast episode two of JT and I talking about what we went through because I think it's really important to hear his perspective as well and the man he was in this to let me do what I needed to do but it was also him going through his own experience through this all like he discovered so much um so yeah, I think we'll definitely do like some type of podcast or something with both of us. Um, but you can always leave comments below or questions, I mean, if you want me to go into anything or if you feel like you have questions of understanding what this is all about or you feel like you've been kind of wanting to leave your job or you've been wanting to leave a friendship. Like this doesn't have to be always like leaving a relationship. And I think what I have noticed is... A lot of the times we stay in things because we're terrified to hurt someone else. But that was the beautiful thing in this is I chose myself and I chose myself's feelings over anyone else's, which for the grand scheme of things, like really, I'm so grateful that I did that because now I'm in a relationship where we are just even better and 
even more in love and even more open. This journey has not stopped now that I'm back in the relationship. The journey of self will always continue. My loves, I hope you enjoyed this vlog of just a couple days in my life and just the realness and rawness of different days and just vlogging it. Let me know if you did enjoy this kind of vlog and what you're always looking forward to seeing more of. I know that a couple people were mentioning for me to vlog the Power Pilates program we're going into. So if that is of interest, let me know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for always giving me the good vibes to be able to continue to create this content. Like I feel really grateful to have this space. So love you guys.